Horticulture plants usually require very much similar care needs. But sometimes particular plants will need slightly varying attention and care than others. Horticulture consists of several different branches based on the kind of plants produced, the cultivation methods involved and how they are used. Let's take a deeper look into each of the categories. If you love to eat delicious fruits and nuts, then pomology may allure you. This branch of horticulture involves the production and cultivation of fruit and nut crops. Whether it is an orange tree in the garden or a complete orchard, pomology includes everything from fruits, berries and a wide variety of nuts. Pomologists are always on the lookout for new fruit and nut varieties and sustainable crops with minimal impact on the environment. The next branch is olericulture. It includes all kinds of vegetables crops. Growing your own vegetables can never be more convenient and rewarding. Olericulture deals with a wide variety of herbaceous plants like carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, onions, cabbage, beans, melons and much more. Olericulturists generally cultivate the vegetables all the way from seeds. If you love the sight and smell of vibrant flowers blooming in the garden, then floriculture is for you. Floriculture involves flowers and ornamental plants used for landscaping and decorative purposes. These plants make gardens more attractive and vibrant. Floriculture involves a wide variety of cut flowers, foliage, pot plants, seeds and bulbs. Landscapers often use these flowers and ornamental trees while designing gardens to make them as vibrant as possible. The most affordable way to grow flowers is through seeds. Alternatively, you could purchase blooms to give your garden a head start. The next branch is landscape horticulture. The most common plants used for landscape horticulture includes grass, shrubs, vines and nursery plants. There are many options to consider while planning your garden landscape to create outdoor spaces for relaxing and entertainment. Let your creativity take over as you focus on your garden landscape and create a backyard retreat to dissolve the day's stress. Make your own combination of colors, textures and fragrances of nature to design the garden of your dreams. There are some unique branches which are often overlooked. Viticulture is one of them. It's a great way to add some ornamental drama to your garden that doubles as a fruit. This branch of horticulture specializes in growing grapes which are mostly used for making wine. With a little investment and proper care, grape vines can produce fruit with ease for years to come. Another branch that's often overlooked is coffee and spices. Coffee plants are easy to maintain, and seedlings are readily available. Although there are many varieties of coffee, the two main coffee beans are Arabica and Robusta. The most common spices like paprika, mustard, cumin, black pepper, and cinnamon can be easily cultivated in your garden or small indoor pots. Medicinal and aromatic plants also make it to the list of branches. Medicinal plants are used for medical treatment and as a remedy to our physical and mental well-being. On the other hand, some plants like mint and rosemary are used for their aroma. These plants can be easily grown indoors even with indirect sunlight and require very little space. An indoor garden with specialized LED lights and hydroponic irrigation is a good investment to ensure that your plants get the right amount of nutrients and light. These are easily available online. Links in the description below. The activities done after harvest are equally as important as plant growth and care. The crops start losing their nutritional value as soon as they are harvested. That's why the initial post-harvest storage condition is the most critical to maintain the quality of the produce. Now that you know the different branches of horticulture, it's time to get your hands dirty. Feel free to share your views in the comments section below. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and family.